Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning into today's video. So, let me look at the GPS. So, I am actually on the way to a black owned beauty supply store. I know you guys have been asking me for this for a while now. Um, but yeah, I'm on the way to Keisha's beauty supply store, which is a black owned beauty supply store in Douglasville, Georgia. And I've actually been meaning to visit her beauty supply store for a while now. You guys have been asking me to review a black owned beauty supply in the Atlanta area. And so, I finally found one. So yeah, I'm almost there. Um, it's gonna be like the same style as my previous videos. So I'll be taking you guys along to shop and vlog the beauty supply store with me. And whatever products I end up picking, we will go ahead and head home and style my hair. So currently I just co-washed my hair and now it's ready to be styled. So I really want to style my hair in a wash and go. So I'm gonna be looking for products that cater to that. And I have arrived. Ooh, Keisha's. All right, y'all, so I am at Keisha's Beauty Supply. Let's head on in and shop for some products for my wash and go. Hey, girl. <laughs> oh my God, it looks amazing in here. Oh, you're fine. Hi.
got to put the people Oh, that's about, what, 25 minutes? But I don't mind the extra drive. Just all right guys so i am back home from keisha's beauty supply as you can see i already got my t-shirt on repping my black owned beauty supply um so yeah i did just put a little bit of conditioner um on my hair to preserve it while i ran to the beauty supply store so i'm going to rinse that and we will go ahead and jump into this wash and go now it has been a while since i've done a wash and go so i am super nervous y'all i do have a hair update to film to let y'all know you know what I'm liking and what I'm not <laughs> and it's a lot that I'm not liking um, but we will get into that so yes I will be using the products that I picked up from Keisha's Beauty Supply and I picked up the African Pride Moisture Miracle Hydrate and Strengthen Leave-In Cream and I have reviewed this on my channel so definitely go ahead and check it out um, if you guys haven't scroll through the videos and go on and find this I will also link it here um, the next product that I am using is Aunt Jackie's Curl La La Defining Curl Custard. And this is for curl definition. So we have the moisture and softening and then we have the definition and hold. And I did want to do a um, no gel wash and go. So that is why I chose these two products while I was shopping. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this wash and go. All right guys, so I applied both of my products. So like I said, it has been a while since I've done a wash and go, but I really have such good hopes for this one. Um, my hair is clumping the way it's supposed to. Um, I haven't used um, Aunt Jackie's in a while. I think I only used this Curl La La one time, um, and I don't remember how it worked on my hair. So honestly, this is really like a, a, a product review, but it really reminds me of the Talia Wajid Apple and Aloe Curl Definer. The way that this product clumps my hair. So definitely adding this to the checklist um, as far as the clumping um, of my hair and the way that the product just makes my hair act correct. Like, you know, just with defining your curls and um, for wash and goes. So what I might have to do is do a video comparing the Curl Definer by Talia Wajid and the Aunt Jackie's Curl La La and doing like a side by side which product is best um, or which product defined my hair the best but but yeah those are two creams that will really give you curl definition that's so similar to using a gel in your hair and those are the type of creams that I 
navigate towards considering my hair type and the hold that my hair needs. My hair frizzes very easy so I need a product, especially a cream product that's really going to have good hold. And so far this does. So my hair is not dry. Of course drying will be the true tell of um, you know, how this product worked in my hair but I, you know, you can kind of tell, like when you're doing your hair, you kind of can already get a feel for what's going to work and what might not work. If this, if my hair just completely just did the opposite of what I think it's going to do, I will be completely shocked, okay? So, yes, once this wash and go is dry, I will be back to show you guys the final look.